I'm Jensen and today I'm going to be talking to you about Dutch elm disease which is if you can see that tree up there we've got a tree that hangs over our front gate and what re what happened to it it's an elm and what happened to it is it got Dutch elm disease which is a serious disease it doesn't actually come from where you would expect it to when you say Dutch doesn't actually come from Holland. It can It was first discovered in Europe, which is where we are now. We're in Ireland currently, and so you can see it's lost all its leaves. That also, it's not autumn, so that's not why it's lost all its leaves. Get off. It's got Dutch elm disease. You can see there are a few leaves, but I'm not sure if the camera can pick them up. So we also have a few. We're just lucky enough to have a few variants of the disease. So we've got an, one that's fine. We've got an early stage of the disease. Then we've got some really bad ones. So we'll start off with the one that's fine. So if you follow me, just over here. So we just happen to have all the various stages of the disease right here, right outside our front gate, where we can, well, uh, it's literally just over there. And that tree is right above us. So that one's got no leaves. That's the la one of the last stages of the disease. But behind me here, you can see a healthy branch. So this is a healthy branch. And then we've got a healthy branch or what looks like it, but it's starting to go yellow. Then we've got some more yellower ones. And then we've got the really yellow ones like these. And then we have the next stage where it starts to go brown and crumble. Look, if I take these, it's just like if you have, if you get autumn, and if it's autumn all the crunchy leaves and everything this one is actually starting to try and grow back i don't i don't know how it's doing that but anyway what to be honest what dutch elm disease is doing here is it's drying out the leaf it's because it's a fungus i can't remember the name properly i think it's ophistoma um novo novo ulmi I hope I said that right. Anyway, so what it does is it cuts off the the imagine. So basically, it's got a blood, the trees have blood vessels, but they hold water. So it cuts off the water supply, and then all these leaves, as you can see, dry out and shrivel up. Now, actually, what happens is, as you can see, that it starts from this end of the branch instead of normally it would start from the trunk and branch out. See what I did there? Branch out? Yeah, <laughs> I'm funny. Anyway, it's it's carry it's transmitted by the Dutch elm bark beetle, which is a lot of bees. Another thing that's quite good is you can treat it if you have like a massive elm like us. We can't treat it. You need to kind of catch it in the early stages. There are fungicides that you can get for it, but they're pretty expensive and have to be applied pretty regularly which is which costs time and money so basically it's not harmful for humans but the only thing you can really do is just let the tree die to be honest and one of the weirdest things i told you that it was actually found it first in europe or they think it originated in europe but the reason it's called dutch elm disease is because that the scientists that isolated and discovered the the I think, yeah, it's a fungus, sorry, were actually Dutch scientists. I mean, it makes sense, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed learning about Dutch elm disease. It would be very helpful to me if you could like, subscribe and ring that bell and we will see you again next time for another nature video. Bye!